I was with the majors. They want to tell me what I couldn't do, what I couldn't say, what I couldn't wear, what couldn't paint my face. What? I've been a clown all my life. <laughs> what do you mean? You know, I said, well, Jack, I don't know. You played your face, man. Black people might not take to you. I don't give a damn. My music is for everybody. Yeah. So, fuck who don't like it. Exactly. That's how I feel about it. And it's like, uh, being independent, I can do whatever the hell I want. We put out Red Nose as a video. Red Nose is not a... Red Nose is not a, 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 a dance song, you know what I'm saying? It's not a party song that you, you know, usually a video, you want people to, hey, that's dope, you know, we can play to the club. Red, red Nose is my heart, saying, the industry treat me like I got a red nose, like Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. They want to let me uh, engage in uh, reindeer games, you know what I mean, which is the industry, you know what I'm saying, saying I'm a weirdo, and that's cool, and that's what I put out because I felt it. And I wanted everybody to know. So being independent makes me say, ah, to everybody else, this is what we want to do. Complete autonomy. That's actually funny because I was actually about to mention Red Nose and a line in it where you're like, I mean, and independent, talented individual working for the industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, I'm an independent. I said, I'm an independent, talented individual working for the industry to raise their game. You know what I'm saying? And that's actually what I am. When I say when I when I say the industry of the reindeer games, it means places like the BT Awards, they have called me. I got one of the raw shows in the industry period, you know what I'm saying? The uh, Ozone Awards, they called us and said they want us. You know what I mean? Those are the reindeer games. That's what we're trying to get. But I guess we don't fit the mold because my face is painted and it's had rock energy on a lot of our songs. So I spoke on that. Do you actually, have you actually ever tried to change or you just said no automatically? Like, I've never changed for you guys. I can only be me. I can only be me, man. You know, they say, okay, he stopped, his, his hair is not red anymore. That's only because I'm black and I don't know how to take care of dyed <laughs> hair. I was on ecstasy then. <laughs> almost died and took 15 pills in one night, so I've been clean for almost four years. So, so I mean, my body misses it, but, <laughs> but it's like, I have red hair then, and people think I changed it to try to fit in. No, I just didn't know how to take care of dyed hair. You know, being on the road like I do, you know what I'm saying? So that fell out, so I just start all over and I'm going it all the way out. You know, a lot of my fans like, oh, you trying to fit in, you know, P, T, and I'm just going as I grow. I'm going into something different. My music changes with me. I'm to see what's going to come next. Um, so you actually, had your musical career for about 24 years. Mm -hmm. That's pretty long. Um, how do you th how do you feel about the digital era now compared to what it was then? Like, is it a good thing? Is it worse? I think it's a good thing, man. You know, what I'm saying because a lot of a lot of a lot of things come with digital. Like uh, Pro Tools, way easier to me. But how about your sales? Like CDs, My sales, and CDs, and online. internet. I was gonna get to that. Oh, okay. I'm just starting with Pro Tools, but if, you, if, you, if you're talking about sales, we're ahead of a lot of folks when it comes to that. You know, what I'm saying? without without internet sales, I wouldn't be over here in Toronto. They wouldn't know me if they couldn't download my stuff. You know, I wouldn't be on my way to uh, Switzerland in August. Wow. Amsterdam, if it wasn't for the internet, if it wasn't for ringtones and all that kind of stuff. We're doing really well on those sales. I'm glad that we're ahead of a lot of other people. Even in the majors, we have even more digital sales than some of their artists that are on television. So I'm loving it. I think it's better. Because we get to go a lot more places. Somebody in Turkey can go Tech 9, let me listen. Wow, next thing you know, I'm going there, working with a guy named Chase. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. Um, I actually have a couple of questions for you. I don't want you to feel left out. Oh, I'm cool. Your CD is <laughs> actually dropping out July 20th. Yeah. Genius. I mean it. Why the title? I mean it. I mean <laughs> it. I mean it. If you think about, if you think about people, they call musical genius Marvin Gaye, Ray Charles. Michael Jackson, you know what I'm saying? Rest the soul, you know. And 
I really mean that about Michael Jackson, not because he's dead, because we, everybody all of a sudden wants to honor him. Exactly. And we've been honoring him. He called us out a killer, and he's laid to the side like on Thriller, you know what I'm saying? We've got Michael Jackson in our show usually won't cut to here, but he's not here today. But I, um, you know, when I look at them, I think, wow, that sounds like that's musical genius. And I feel like, like I told him in the last interview, that I got my wind up. I didn't know that I was this dude before. You know, my mother's been telling me forever. When I first got with Ted, I used to second guess myself and he told me, listen man, you don't understand how dope you are. Just write whatever comes to your mind. Everything you write is dope. And after I finally did an album, did a live on my last album, I was like, wow. It, I listen, it don't feel like it's me. Like, I just feel like just Chris, you know what I'm saying? And I felt that. And when I first, then, then I, 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 I was like, man, you know, I had this idea, like, man, I, should, I wonder if I should call my album Genius or something of a genius. And I, our DJ, he wasn't our DJ at the time, DJ Chill, came into the studio and he said, Who invented Hennessy? Who is the genius that invented Hennessy? And he hit me like right there. I gotta call my album Genius. Because to me, like, I invented the, sun, the, the, the musical genre of funk, bro, which is everything. It's funk, rap, rock, RB, and opera. That's what that word means. But to me, if you can invent something and it can work, you must be a genius, you know what I'm saying? So, if you listen to the album, man, fuck, I want you to listen to it. I was just about to start. I got it with me. <laughs> you I want you to listen to it and say, um, okay, that's a that's a real statement that he's making with that album. Genius, for real. I was listening to a song that's That's one of my favorite yeah. songs. Yeah. Can you explain to me, like, the story behind that song? Uh, my life. <laughs> <laughs> The song is about a misunderstood love, misunderstood relationship, you know, and most people can relate to this, like you got this person that you can't be with under no circumstances, but under no circumstances can you be without them either. That just is the basis of the song, like, you know, this girl we keep bringing up, you know what I'm saying, by the time I got back with her, I was already having bad ass habits, you know what I'm saying, of uh, being a womanizer. You know what I'm saying? So it's not going to work. But we would die if we ain't going to be together, so it's got to work. You know what I'm so I just shot a video for it um, like about a month ago. And uh, the making of it is on the internet right now. And uh, we're going to release it to like MTV, to the MTV News, MTV Jams. You know what I'm saying? And it's real crazy. We shot the video in a funeral home. Because I felt like this would be the most un, un misunderstood place to shoot a video in. And say, hey, you smell a burger. Yeah, I there. seen the smoke. I was yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're gonna smell like this by the end of the day. We smell like it right now. Matter of fact. Yeah. Have they been grilling? And that's some yeah. niggas. Some niggas smelling like barbecue. Have you guys been eating or are you just sitting here smoking? Nah, starving? just gathering smoke. Yeah, we just over here gathering smoke. Um, I actually wanted to ask, how does it feel working with that guy? Everybody asks that question because he's so uh, admired, man. It's a, it's a great experience because he's like my best friend, you know what I'm saying? Aside from, uh, I learned so much. I learned how to be a star from this man.